Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! Inside the product component, I want to get the authenticated user. To do that, I will go in the products component and I will get the authenticated user and pass the user as a property to the product component, as we have done here. Now, you might be thinking, why don't we just get the user in the product component to avoid passing the user as a property? However, if you think about it, you will have to make multiple calls to the authentication package to get the authenticated user. But if you get the authenticated user in the products component and you just pass the user as a property, you are making just one call and simply you are just passing the user. So yeah, you have to think about performance as well, even if in our case it doesn't really make any sense because the performance is not a big issue here. Now, with that pointed out, let's use the products component to get the authenticated user. So inside data, I will create a new piece of data. I will call this authenticated user. And I will grab the authenticated user by using the package. So this .get authenticated user. We can verify that we get the user by opening the dev tools and going to the my products. And you can see the authenticated user right here. So now we want to pass this user as a property to the product component. So each my product should have the authenticated user. So to do that, well, we can just use properties. So right here, I will say authenticated user, and we will pass the authenticated user that we have right here. And then inside the product component, we have to define that this component expects the authenticated user. So authenticated user. All right, now pay attention. If I click on one of the products, we should expect to get the authenticated user as we have here in the my products component. However, take a look at this. The authenticated user, if I refresh the page, is empty and make sure you refresh the page. So whenever you go to this feed, the authenticated user will not be available in the my product component. Okay, so let me explain. Suppose we have some data in the products component. Let's name this test and the data will just be a string. I am a string. Okay. Now the difference between test and authenticated user is that the authenticated user is getting the data from the authentication package. While for the test data here, the value is hard coded. So the data option provided by view is really not reactive when it comes to changes. So if we pass the test data to the product component, and of course we have to accept it. So test, and I go back, I refresh the page. You can see that test has the I am a string text string. However, the authenticated user is an empty object. So when we pass the test property to the product component, you can see that test has the value we gave it simply because we hard coded the value. It is not getting the value from somewhere else like the authenticated user. So for the authenticated user, it cannot work like that. So this is where we have to use computed properties. So computed properties will observe and react to data changes. So let's create a computed property here. Below data, I will say computed, and each computed property is a function. And you simply have to return the data. So authenticated user, it will be a function as we said, and I want to return this. Okay, let me delete it from here, and we are fine. So this is all we need to do. Everything else remains the same. So we just change the authenticated user from data to a computed property. Let me also get rid of the test and make sure I do not include it as a property. And there, okay. Now, if I go back and I refresh, let me refresh again. So my product, you can now see that the authenticated user is not empty anymore. It has the authenticated user and it is of course a property. So hopefully you understood the difference between data and computed properties.
So make sure you use computed properties when you want to pass data between components and that data will come from a source. So in our case, the authentication package, right? Because remember, the authenticated user is not hard-coded. We get the authenticated user from the authentication package. So this is our source. But when it is hard-coded, like we had earlier with test, it is fine, you can use the data option. So if you have any question for this video, then make sure you ask me, otherwise let's start deleting products that we own.